To find out how good the Renault Sport Clio 197 is, we're not going to put it up against a modern-day rival. We're going to put it up against an all-time great. The Renault Clio Williams. A hot hatch grand master, launched in 1993 to celebrate Nigel Mansell's Formula One title with the Williams Renault team. And the handling is sharp, pinpoint. I can understand now why when this car came out, it was such a hit. It turns, look at that turn, probably one way, other way, no big oversight. Oh, I can feel the rear wheel lifting up in the air. I tell you what, the 197 is going to be hard pushed to beat this for fun. The 197, though, is at an immediate disadvantage because it's nearly four people heavier than the Williams. You may feel a bit safer because it's got four end cap stars, but is it still fun? Yes, without a doubt. And this really is an engine that needs using, it needs encouraging. You've got to get up there in the rev band and let the needle go right round to what, over 7,500 RPM. Third gear, now there's that change in engine tone. Fourth gear, you're straight back into the power band at 6,000. So a great engine once you've wound it up. It looks deceptively cute and cuddly. With only a Ferrari-like rear diffuser showing any pretensions to performance. Even if, in reality, it actually does precious little. One tip, I'd highly recommend these optional Recaro seats. A very well-spent £500. Which keep you firmly in place when you get to the twisty bits. Oh, right, catch it. Left, catch it. Accelerate. And all that's happening at about 60 miles an hour. And you feel there's an endless amount of grip. It's been a long time since a small car gave me such a thrill, lap after lap of on-the-limit fun, and all for 16 grand. The new Mini may have been king of this market sector. I think it's just been shown a clear.